have to rely on faith for salvation at this point because there's no physical way I can see winning. There's nothing I can physically do. Do I, do I like racism? Do I like um, do I like uh, the un unhonorable people? Do I like the unbalanced and the biased? Do I like the deceit? Hell no. Can I do anything about it? No. You know, I gotta have faith that the Most High is gonna do something about it. When people mock and talk about the Most High, when people say what we're doing is a waste of time and things like that, I gotta have faith. You know? And I'm, I might well roll with it. If I'm in it, I'm rolling with it all the way. Ain't no, ain't no reason to be halfway in it if you're in it. You know? You know the Lord coming, but you're gonna be halfway about it for you. You're gonna die. It's a life, life or death situation here. You know? Like, uh, like, it's like, uh, what, what that is? Like, uh, Morph Morpheus told Neo to jump from that building to building. Yeah. But it's real life, though. So you got to believe in order to make that jump. Okay. If you don't it's believe, yeah, you got to go. <laughs> you can't say, like, what he did. Okay, see it. No, you got to be like, what you said is the truth. I'm gone. Mm -hmm. and just jump. Because if you go halfway, it's like Neo did. He went halfway and he fell, you know? Only in real life, there's going to be splat. No, nope. there's gonna be them nukes. No, nope. let's get let's get back to the scriptures. Okay, yeah, there we go. Um, which shall hide themselves in the thick groves and the clutch of the rocks. Yeah, because uh, they got underground bunkers. Basically, while all this is happening, the rich elite will hide under these underground bunkers. They're gonna hide, you know, they got tunnels all across America. That's why all those Walmarts were getting shut down because they was, they was getting those underground tunnels worked up. Because you're gonna be here, I think they shut down a Walmart, did they shut down a Walmart here? I know they did in Oklahoma. But they yeah, got- California and Texas. Yeah, they got tunnels. So basically what's gonna happen is you're gonna be- There's a bunker that goes from the South Omaha fire station all the way to the um, Air Force Base. There you, there you go. You know what I'm saying? The president here on the Air Force One's terrorist attack. So, so what you think will happen if you're up in here parlaying, or you going about your daily thing, you don't hear nothing, and next thing you know, you see a, a thousand troops from nowhere. That's that's gonna come from underground bunkers, you know, or just ship you to your to them concentration camps where they deem deem you uh, fit to to reside, you know, and it, and it's gonna it's a, it's basically guerrilla warfare type of stuff. You know, pop out and attack and, and, you know, if you see interstate full of tanks and stuff, you're going to be telling, calling people, everybody going to go to hide. But if you just pop out a fire station, you ain't got no time to tell nobody, you know. You, ain't, you can't go to pay tech cash advance, get your gas money and try to, you know, no, you just <laughs> got to go. <laughs> it's it's zero, zero to a hundred. Go ahead. As in the orchard of olives upon every tree, there are left two or there are left three or four, or as when a vineyard is gathered, there are left some clusters of them that diligently seek through the vineyard. Yep, so that's talking about there's gonna be like two or three people out there that just gonna be they're gonna be uh basically cleansing, you know. Now I ain't talking about in a good way, I'm talking about hunting. You know? There's gonna be like like just watch those movies and you'll see it's like two or three people in their groups and they just go through and they get it how they live you know go ahead even so in those days there shall be three or four uh, left by them that search their houses with the sword yeah yeah so they're gonna be like like the road i like that movie because it's a good example if you ever watched that movie the road is basically everything fell apart and they they're just scared man I and mean, they're trying to make it to california and it was in his house and the house is empty and, and next thing you know it was these them cannibals from the beginning of the movie and they had to hide in the bunker and and, and just just sit back and listen to these people get ate you know and just had to go their way because they're, they're gonna have some crazy dudes that's just gonna be about their life you know on the left hand side mm -hmm. that's gonna be survivors that's why that's why the elect is gonna be there to to uh, balance that out you know this the, but the lukewarm people don't stand a chance you know, you got, you got people that's ready to doomsday purpose, the people that's on the left-hand side that's ready, and the people that are on the right-hand side that's ready. But the people in the middle, 
You know, you're just wondering if who's going to win the Super Bowl, and that's all you know. Like, they're going to be a distraction from what you're doing. Yeah, you're, in the, yeah, you're going to... You're gonna be in. You're, you're just in a line of fire. You know, you just bait. You know. Go ahead. And the earth shall be laid waste, and the fields thereof shall wax old, and her ways and all her paths shall grow full of thorns, because no man shall travel there through. Yep, just like these streets. If you don't tend to them. Eventually, trees will start uprooting, and roads and paths will eventually, you know. Uh, turn to straight grass and stuff like on I Am Legend, you know? Go ahead. The virgin shall mourn, having no bridegrooms. Yep, no future. Go ahead. The women shall mourn, having no husbands. Yep. The daughters shall mourn, having no helpers. Yep, it's going to be a reality of what you need. It's going to be a reality of what you need and what you see as a future. All that, you know, men ain't this or this ain't that. You're going to realize what you need. Reality is going to set in. That's what the Most High ultimately is, is pushing, is for reality to set in. Because America is in the land of, this is Disneyland, man. You know? Think you could do do this and do that and it all works out? No. You know? Go ahead. And the wards, their bridegrooms, uh, fuck it. And the wards shall their bridegrooms be destroyed, mm -hmm. and their husbands shall perish of famine. Yep. Hear now these things, and understand them, ye servants of the Lord. Ye servants of the Lord. Not, not random people, but ye servants of the Lord. Go ahead. Behold, the word of the Lord receive it. Believe, believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake. Yep, and that's talking about, because somebody said if it's in a Bible, it, it exists, right? So when the Bible talks about Molech, does that mean Molech existed? No, that means they, the, the people that created that, that situation existed. That God don't exist. You know, so when you got the, the white Jesus, you got the uh, Allah and all that, you know, those guys don't exist, okay? Just people, imagination makes it exist, you know. But this, the most high of the Bible, he exists, no doubt. Go ahead. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. When a woman bring child into, when a woman bring child, so when a woman with child, in the ninth month, bringing forth her son, within two or three hours of her birth, great pains can pass her womb. Which pains, when a child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. Yeah, so that's why I said earlier is that you raising your child in a certain manner is vain. Only reason, only thing you can really do is raise them and be morally correct. Of course, raise your child properly, but at the end of the day, it's really about the scriptures. You know. My wife asked me, well, what are you going to do to make sure you know, our children are, are right? I said, all I, all I could do is give them the scriptures, and it's, it's based off the Most High that he deems them to uh, be, uh, receive salvation. You know, Because the Most High could give me a demon as a child. Man. I, can't, I can't control that. I understand it. I don't want it to happen. Who, who wants a demon as a child? Like, you know? But you have to understand that you ain't in control of nothing. You know? That's another major problem with people. They think they're in control. There's no way you can raise your child up to be the elect. You know, you can you can give them all the right avenues, but the spirit of their choice, the, the spirit that they have, will choose whoever the whoever the spirit is uh, supposed to choose. You know, uh, Solomon, his 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 uh, predecessors was wicked, man. Israel fell apart because of his his children. And Solomon was the wisest man of them all. You know. Even so, even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. So at the end of the day, these plagues are going to come. Death, mourning, and famine, woe, all this is happening. So basically, it tells you in Peter's, what manner of person are you to be in whole, all holy conversation and godliness? And the word conversation goes back to the word conduct. Basically, how you, should, how you should be conducting yourself knowing that the Lord is coming back, you know? Of course, I can go to IHOP, I can go to uh, a bar, watch a UFC fight, I like to watch fights and stuff. I can enjoy myself, but the main, your main criteria is how you're supposed to be conducting yourself for the time to come. You don't leave the country because that shows lack of faith of, of, of the most high saving. The most, you can't duck them anyway. You can't duck the judgment. Um, you don't try to manipulate it, you know, 
try to make it, try to stretch it a little bit, or you know, try to make a difference. The only way you make a difference is by spreading the gospel. That's the only way you make a positive difference. You know, it's by letting another person know. Because at the end of the day, this place is going to be destroyed. It ain't going ain't to be no way out besides the cherries uh, uh, beaming us up. Like the Lord got beamed up. You know, it said that like the cloud received them. Okay, that the clouds are chariots. Those are the, the UFOs that the world speaks of. Okay, these things can come, they can be invisible, change sizes, all that. You know, and those, those, are, the same, um, those are the same vehicles that's going to be beaming everybody up uh, when it's time for the, uh, the destruction of America. Now, people might say, oh, that's crazy, sci-fi stuff. But, hey, go through the scriptures. You know, you got you to gotta be all in there, you know. This, this, is, this is it. You know, that, the scriptures got to be a new husband, actually. You know, you got to be, you got to be all into it. You know, you got to find out what makes it tick. You know, you got to find out. You got to go into your definition, your precepts, all that. You know, you got to have all faith in it, too. You know. Go ahead. You got something? No. Okay. <clears throat> I just want to get that part when it says BS Pilgrims, and, and we're going to close out. <laughs> oh my people, hear my words, make you ready in the battle, and those uh, in those evils be uh, Oh my people, hear my word, make you ready to the battle, and in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. Yep. So what that means is basically what you have ain't nothing. You're just living. You're just waiting. You don't the main thing you you, you invest your, your life in is uh, your salvation, your scriptures, your way of life, uh, how you handle yourself. Besides that, you know, me and my job, yeah, I'm going to be efficient at my job. Me raising my kids, yeah, I'm going to be efficient at raising my kids. But I'm not going to put my all into that. How, how, I, how I treat my, my woman or things like I don't, I don't, you know, I do it the right way. But I'm not going to put my all into it. You know, putting my all into it is getting like three, four jobs, making sure she has this and has that and I'm just going crazy. Once we got a roof overhead, we got clothes on our backs, we eating every day, we good. You know, anything else, you know, you might receive a blessing that I get a couple hundred here, a thousand here, that's that's beautiful. We're gonna go party with that. Or we're gonna do something towards our household or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But that's not like what the end goal is, you know. You don't wanna be out here talking about man, I gotta I gotta work these doubles for Christmas or I gotta work these doubles for my a woman don't, you know, get mad because she didn't get them red bottoms, you know, like, nah, man, if you, if you, if you materialistic like that, then you don't need it, you know, so at the end of the day, we need to be increasing our spirit, lay our treasures up in heaven, you know, so that's that concept of being as a pilgrim, you got it, but you don't got it, you know, it's like, whatever, you know, so, we're going to close out with that being said, give all praise to you, how about she now shy? Double answer apostles, blessings to the elect, all the brothers out there doing this word, uh, Dylan teaching the word, and uh, Lord willing, we make it all out together. You know? Shalom.